I recently met with and joined the Ocean State Bird Club at Hunts Mill to learn what they're all about. They're connecting birders, not just in Rhode Island, but all around southeastern New England. Some members of the group, they're actually birding right now. Let's see if I can distract them. <laughs> I think I swallowed a bug. <laughs> want to make sure I look good for the birds. I want to have my phone ready if I can get a like selfie with a robin or something. Do you want to have your feet about shoulder shoulder width apart? So this is a you just said I'm making this all up right now. <laughs> the only thing Are you, really... you authorized to do this, Dan? Sure am. <laughs> I have a card, but don't ask to see it. Club president Dan Berard is absolutely authorized. And he explained to me that there's a difference between birding and bird watching. Bird watching is generally a little bit more passive. You're just kind of sitting outside, seeing what's coming to your feeder, hanging out, having a cup of coffee. Birding is generally maybe a little bit more intense. You're out walking a trail, looking to see what you can find and actively looking for birds. I wondered, how does one usually get interested in this type of thing? Generally, birders have what they call a spark bird. So a spark bird is that first bird that they see that really gets them into birding. You never know what can happen. The birding space and location makes a difference. Where we are right now is what we would call a green space. So right near Providence, what's really interesting is a lot of the birds we're looking for, warblers, vireos, flycatchers, they're nocturnal migrants. So they're flying over the city at night. And then when it starts to get light out, they see these green space and they drop down for food, cover. They'll feed for a little bit in the morning and then generally they start to siesta, they start to relax. Armed with some knowledge, I joined the group, and it was time for me to get birding. What kind of bird is that? The dog? Oh, yeah. I just get easily confused. When you're using binoculars, you want to stare at the bird. Don't take your eyes off the bird and just bring your binoculars up. Sure. Are we going to find anything cool today? Of course. Right. Anything right. rare and exotic besides me? Never know. Maybe. <laughs> Let's do it. After you. Let's head out. When you're leading a bird walk, you want to always be listening to what's going on. You want to always be looking. You don't always want to be walking backwards right, yeah. unless you know exactly what is going on behind you. You and I are over here, and I feel like the ladies of the group, they want nothing to do with me. <laughs> um, I've made quite the impression, haven't I? I got to say, walking like this, we look like one tough bird watching group. So the Blackburnian singing over here. So the Blackburnian, it sounds like a squeaky dog toy. Squeak, 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 but then it keeps going up the scale to the point where it can't hear it anymore. That's the bird that we're hearing. It's a very high-pitched song. Um, so warbler, it doesn't nest in Providence, but it nests like out in northern and western Rhode Island. So in migration, everybody runs around to see one, but if you kind of put the time in during the summer and put up with the insects, you can probably find one. So there's one singing up here. We'll see if we can actually find it. But you can see where looking for warblers is a little difficult. We're looking for a bird that's this big at the top of a tree in here Maybe somewhere. That's it. Oh no, that's just a tree. Well, you know, you're halfway there. Yeah, close. And with all of that exploring, we were done. I couldn't help but share some of my personal experiences with my new friends before I left. I would just like to leave you with my spark bird, the one that got me interested in all of this, a true bird of prey. Hey Larry, take a bow, Indiana has a new state bird. I had a great time with the group. Now, they are always looking for new members, and you don't have to be an expert to join them and have a good time. They have lots of events planned that help to enhance the entire experience. A big thank you again to them for allowing me to have some fun. We will post more info on our website, roadshow.com.